Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to study the type of chemical bond which is known as ionic bond. We will discuss ionic bond in detail. We will discuss some examples of the ionic bond. Let's begin with the lecture. The valence electrons which are involved in chemical bonding are termed as bonding electrons. We know the outermost electrons, the electrons which exist in the last shell of an atom are known as valence electrons. These electrons are only involved in the chemical bonding. These electrons are shared. These electrons are transferred from one atom to another atom. So these electrons are only, only involved in bonding. Depending upon the way how these valence electrons are involved in bonding, they result the following four types of the chemical bonds. The first is the ionic bond. The second is the covalent bond. The third is the coordinate covalent bond. And the final and the fourth is the metallic bond. We will discuss the ionic bonds in detail first and then we will discuss covalent, coordinate, covalent and metallic bond in the next lectures. Let's begin with the ionic bond. The bond which is formed due to the complete transfer of electron from one atom to other atom is called as ionic bond. The bond which is formed by the complete transfer from one atom to another atom. For example, the NaCl, sodium chloride NaCl, the one electron is transferred from sodium atom to chlorine atom and the resulting compound is the sodium chloride. So let us further see the elements of the group first and the group second being metals have tendency to lose their valence electrons. They are electropositive atoms. They have less hold on their valence electrons. So to complete their octet to be stabilized, they prefer to lose their electrons. So they lose electrons which exist in their final shell. Final orbiting shell so let's see examples sodium lose its valence electron and become sodium ion magnesium magnesium lose its final two electrons and become magnesium ion on the other hand the elements of the group 15 and 17 are non-metals and have ability to accept the electrons and they form negative ions they have electron affinity more than the metals so they prefer to accept electrons to complete their octet. They have 7 electrons, they have 6 electrons, they have 5 electrons in their outermost shell so they prefer to accept electrons to complete their octet. So they form negative ions. So if the metals and non-metals are allowed to react, the bond formed is called ionic bond. Let's see an example NaCl which is explained below sodium and A have 11 electrons in its valence shell and 11 electrons in its total electronic configuration and one electron in its valence shell and uh, on the other hand the chlorine chlorine has seven electrons in its valence shell and total 17 electrons in its orbitals let us further see sodium it has one electron in its valence shell it loses its one electron and forms sodium ion on the other hand chlorine accept the electron which is lost by the sodium and form chloride ion which is negatively charged. By losing one electron sodium becomes sodium ion and left with eight electrons in its valence outermost shell so it is now stable and its octet is complete. By gaining one electron chlorine became chloride ion which is negative charge on it and now it has also eight electrons in its outermost shell in its valence shell and it is also complete and its octet is complete. These ions stabilize themselves by combining with each other due to the electrostatic force of attraction between them. What is the electrostatic force of attraction? The force of attraction between the positively and negatively charged ions is known as electrostatic force of attraction between ions. So they stabilize themselves by combining with electrostatic force of attraction. Usually the energy is released in this type of bond formation and the ionic bond are formed between the atoms.